Howdy campers and welcome back to another episode of Collection Log Completionist, the series where we finally get back to a regular upload schedule. This week is going to be clips from the final couple weeks of last year, which I know, long time ago, but it's us finishing up a couple grinds that I wanted to close out before the end of the year to start out 2024 with a bang, so I hope you guys still enjoy. Ooh! That's what we like to see. Second 250, let's absolutely go. We've got ourselves Lightbearer, Fang, and Ward. I honestly did not think we had gotten a Fang, so just the Missouri and Shadow. Oh boy, if we could yoink ourselves a Shadow, now wouldn't that be wild? Yeah, another Fang. Kind of to be expected a little bit, but I mean, 28 mil. Definitely better than a light bear, that's for sure. 104 mining. Okay. Uh, streaming right now, and somebody redeemed some eggs, and here we go, evil chicken head. That's the last piece. Eh, it's done. Evil chicken completed in 1700 eggs. Well, I'm glad I haven't been doing eggs a lot lately. Thank you, Zagoon, for the egg redeem. That, uh, that worked out pretty well. I guess we might as well send the rest of the eggs while we're at it, too, then. That is crazy. Speaking of streaming, I am live right now opening 1,000 hard caskets. That's right, 1,000 hards. By far, my largest casket stack of the highest tier I've ever done before, and I'm so excited to open them up, so you're definitely not going to want to miss it. Here we are, back at good old Vorkath. We're at 7,000 kills, just missing Pat. We've gotten, I think, one of those Draconics from Vorkath, and I believe the others have been from, like, KBD, Mithril Dragon, stuff like that. And it's a pretty normal setup here, just max range, and we do have ZCB for the spec, which is quite nice. Okay, third kill in. Draconic Visage, nice. That is something, I suppose. <laughs> Not really the drop I was expecting to open the Vorkath grind on, but it's interesting at least. 1 in 5,000, by the way, when Pet is a 1 in 3,000. But there are two 1 in 5,000 drops, so I guess it's more likely to get one of the two than Pet. Wait. I got both a loop and a tooth half of key. You love to see that. Ow. Ah. Well, shit. That would do it. If you don't swap away from the ZCB, that'll definitely kill you. Oh. First Vorkath head. It took us like 120 kills to get that Vorkath head. What will we ever do? Ow. What will we ever do? Ooh, another Vorkath head. I get a lot of people asking me if Missouri is better than Elite Void, and it is, but only barely. So if you're killing Vorkath and you don't have Missouri, don't worry. Elite Void is basically the same damage per hour. Missouri is just a little bit tankier. Another Rune Square Shield. You see a lot of these rare drop table drops at Vorkath since you get two rolls at them every kill, but nothing to get too worked up over, at least not yet. Oh. Holy shit, what? Are you serious? I saw the golden light and I'm like, ooh, another elite clue. Nope. Skeletal visage. A draconic visage and then a skeletal visage in 400 kills? What? That, that's just silly. Yep, third skeletal visage. That is actually pretty wild. I'm not gonna lie. What the heck? All right, well, um, hopefully that means we can get ourselves our pet finally one of these days. What is going on? What? That's another one in 5,000. What? Okay, so we've managed to land three one in 5,000s, but we can't manage to hit the one in 3,000 apparently. Vorkath just hates me, I guess. Yet another rune square shield on that last kill. 
we are getting some odd drops, to say the least. That's the third one from the last 500 kills, and it is a 2 in 2,000. I think it's just odd we're hitting the same rare drop table drop. Holy hell. We got it. I was just doing a random farm run, and we got it. We got Tangle Root. Holy shit. I think we even got pretty lucky on it, too. 51 million farming XP. That's probably about on rate, to be honest. So, I'm not going to complain about being dry or nothing. I'm still going to do my farm runs. I uh, might just be a little bit more lazy now. Even more lazy than I've been before. Which uh, already was pretty lazy, to be fair. But wow. First, we finish Evil Chicken so we don't have to do birdhouse runs, and now we get tango root, so we don't have to do farm runs if we really don't want to. That is pretty wild. Now we are only missing rock golem and the baby chin chompa. Rock golem we've been grinding a good bit. I think we're at like 15 or 18,000 amethyst, so still a ways away from rate, but we're getting there on that one slowly but surely. And then Chinchampa, I've started grinding very mildly, but we're only a couple thousand Chinchampas into that grind. Maybe if we get the Rock Golem, I'll hard camp for it. That way we can have the Skilling Pets tab done. That would be pretty cool. Oh boy. <laughs> There it is. Finally, we got ourselves our Vorky pet at 7949KC, just shy of 8K after a little over a week of just pure grinding Vorkath. We can move on now. That is the 26th pet. Nearly halfway there to completing the whole pet. Still got a little ways to go. Here we are at the good old Seracnus. If we take a look at the collection log here, we are at 4,400 kills, just missing the Jar of Eyes. And if we get the Jar of Eyes here, I think that's like one of our last dry streaks that we still haven't cleaned up. So I really want to get this Jar of Eyes to go into the new year with no dry streaks. I think that would be a nice reset. Scythe just keeps going up in price, so I had to settle for Inquisitor's Mace, which is still pretty good to be fair. Also, even though Mace is slower, this sick Ring of Stone tech absolutely makes the kills so much faster as well, so that's nice at least. Also means less prayer flicking, which is also super nice. I'm dry for green log here, but I'm really not going to complain too much because the clues here are amazing. So we're definitely going to be juggling all of our clues and doing every single one that we get. I mean, if there's a place you want to go dry at, it is definitely Seracnus. That and probably like Barrows, which we also went dry at. So just love my clues, you know? Ooh. Another cudgel, nice. Forgot that that existed. Whew, thank goodness this guy is here to bail me out for not having a knife. No, wait, no, hey, come back here. Wait, hold up. Shit. Camping clue tip of the day. If you get the elite clue step where you have to kill KBD, you can actually stack these keys as long as you juggle them between every clue. And then you can just have a bunch of them in your bank and you don't have to gear up to kill KBD every time you get this step. You can just grab one of these keys and go straight to the chest. Look at that, another cudgel, nice. I think that's number 14. Ooh, 117 HP, nice. How much is that? Over 75 mil, getting up there. No. I knew that was risking it. Damn. Ooh! Yet another cudgel. Nice. That is cudgel number three we've gotten so far now then. Here you can see me trying out full Torva, and it's 
definitely better DPS, but you get shredded so much more by the Major that you can just not sustain as well with the Blood Fury. So I've got my alt here bringing in extra supplies in order to sustain myself and it works out pretty well but then you have to run an alt account and it's a little bit annoying. I would definitely recommend sticking to Missouri if you're not going to be running supplies with an alt account. Ooh sheesh. That's what we like to see. Double clue drop. Ooh sheesh -roo. another double clue drop? Dang, Sarachnus is liking me today. Yes! Yes, yes, yes. There we go. 5262KC, and we are done with Sarachnus. There it is, another boss green logged. I really thought we were going to get ourselves a second pet. But nope, just a nice solid green log, very nice. And if we look here, we have got ourselves a pretty nice stack of hards and elites from both Vorkath and Seracnus. So I am excited for opening those bad boys up. That is going to do it for this video. This week we got four new collection log slots, which isn't a ton, but two of them were pets and it completed three pieces of content for us. Two bosses and then also evil chicken. So pretty big log slots for us to get. Like I said earlier, we're live right now, so make sure to swing on by so you can get your fill of hard clue content and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and you too can become a camper without ever having to touch grass. That's gonna do it for now, but take care and until next time, happy camping.